What's going on everyone, Gilman with Of All These Dogs back with another Neo update video and what a day it has been for Neo. So we'll take a look at how it traded today, some key support and resistance levels that we have coming up moving into the future and based on that what we think it can do. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what your thoughts on Neo are and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So let me hit record and we will get right into it. We are up another $4.64 for the day, which is eight and a half percent. But not only that, we are at all time highs. We've been talking about this for a while, run to all time highs before Neo Day finally got that. So let's take a look at how it traded today um, and then we'll kind of see support and resistance levels that we have coming up. So let me get rid of these indicators and we'll kind of push up. So. First things first, let's take a look at, um, you know, how the stock was looking kind of closed yesterday. We were below this 54 level. We pushed up in the after hours, right? And then even in the pre-market, we broke below or broke above our next level at 56.89, um, which actually I'm actually going to just adjust this line just a little bit. Um, although it, it did hold up a couple times, um, I'm just going to move it down to um, kind of right here. Um, just because I think it's it's a better indication of uh, the support level for moving into the future um, Kind of right there. So let's take a look at not to say our level was necessarily wrong, right? But we can always adjust our levels down a little bit um, Only by like 20 30 cents. So it's not that big a deal. Saw a little bit of a sell-off We saw a bounce pushed up came down bounce Went all the way up and this is when we broke all-time highs and then similar to Tesla, right? We saw a little bit of a sell-off or actually a decent sell-off where it looked like it was gonna close pretty much flat uh -huh. um, but then it turned right back around, started going up, making another high for the day before coming down and going up. So great trading week for NEO. Remember NEO day is tomorrow, Saturday, January 9th, where they're expected to reveal a sedan. They're expected to talk about their larger 150 kilowatt hour battery, um, their autonomous technology, updates to their battery as a service. So a lot of great news coming for NEO. So let's take a look at, you know, what that could mean for the stock moving forward now. If you know we get some exciting thing coming out of Neo Day that we weren't expecting, we could see the stock continue to run. And at that point, the first level that I'm watching is 59.31 and then new all time high, right? We don't know when it could stop, when it gets past this because this is the highest Neo stock has ever been. So it's more of a supply demand kind of thing, right? But if what we are expecting is what we see come out of Neo Day, then we could see a little bit of sell the news happening. Not to say that the stock will crash, but to say that it could pull back just a little bit before going right back up. So if it does pull up, what am I watching? I am watching, the first level I'm watching is this 56.35, um, where we could see you know, a little bit of profit taking and then kind of go up. But if we keep falling, the next level I'm watching is 54.66, and then the AEMA at 52.53. Um, and then this kind of high 51s level, which is kind of uh, you know, both of these. So if we see a little bit of profit taking 56.35, my first level that I'm watching 54.66, the second one that was acting as a little bit of resistance for us earlier this week. Um, and then I'm watching the AEMA in this high in the mid 52s to this high 51s level. And then if all that doesn't hold for whatever reason and we see a massive sell off, then we've got the 21 EMA coming in at $49 and 17 cents as well. But that's a $9 sell off. Um, so I don't necessarily think that that's going to happen. Um, we also can fill the gap down. So if you guys see here, the low of today was 5588. Um, or excuse me, the open of today was 57.76 and the close of yesterday was 54. So if we drop all the way to 57.76, we could be, uh, you know, going to fill that gap, that about $3 gap down to the 54.28s. Um, so just something to keep in mind if you are trading NEO and it starts to go down at that level, don't just jump in thinking that this could be a little bit of a resistance, or excuse me, that this could act as a little bit of a support and start to push back up because remember we have a gap down that we could potentially go down to fill. Um, I'm still bullish on NEO, really excited to see what NEO Day brings, um, but I just think that, you know, we've gone up from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trading days, we've gone from uh, you know, a low in the 43s to the high 59s, including a 9% day today, a pretty nice green day yesterday. So I think it's, you know, a small pullback happening next week would be healthy for the stock. And I'm kind of expecting for that to happen. That being said, if they blow everyone out of the water, we could see another push up on Monday. But my bet is a lot of times with these events, they'll unveil stuff that we have kind of already expected um, and it's already been rumored out. So a lot of, um, you know, people 
with the amount the stock has gone up, could be looking to cash in on their profits. Um, that's all I had for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time. Thank you.